Hi, I'm Liz Gillies, and this is how I do my daily glamorous wavy hair look. Before we begin, I just have to tell you that my hair dries really, really quickly, and I have the curliest hair ever, so it's really kind of like a time-sensitive thing how, you know, soon I can get to a blow dryer before it becomes a whole different style. So just now in the shower, I use this um, purple shampoo. Purple shampoos are really useful for people who are not natural blondes. Right now I am a blonde. So I'm using a lot of purple shampoos and purple masks to make sure my hair doesn't turn red or brassy. And my hair has a ton of uh, red undertones. Not that I even remember what my natural hair color is, but if I look back at pictures of myself young, it looks kind of reddish. So I'm going off of that. So this is Matrix. Um, Total results, so silver, color rescue. And I really like it. It kind of keeps everything cool. It keeps everything from heading into the warm territory. Then I typically do a mask. Uh, I leave it on for as long as I possibly can, but usually it's only five minutes. And this one is Kerastase. This is the one I just used. It's another purple one. So it's really hydrating. It's for artificial blondes like myself who are lying to everybody, pretending to be real blondes and I really, really like it. Kerastase is an excellent brand, and I really feel it's maybe solely responsible for the health of my hair, because I've been using Kerastase almost exclusively, along with Oribe. Okay, I've been using both of them, but I use a lot of Kerastase, and I've been using it for like four years, or since I started Dynasty. And since I started Dynasty, weirdly, even though my hair is treated every day, and it's curled and straightened and, you know, whatever, it's grown and grown and grown, so. I gotta give props. Another great mask. This is the Signature Moisture Mask um, from Orbe. I really like this one too. Okay, so the first thing I do, I really love this. I've used this for years now. This is a leave-in conditioner by Way. I think that's how I say it. Way? I think it's Way. So I just spray this liberally, but not too much in the roots. Another thing I really like this is new. I just I just started using this one because I'm so obsessed with the smell. I also really love their dry shampoo. This is R Co on a cloud. I just use a little because I actually don't know what it does. I just like the smell a little bit. Okay. Do you see my hair already starting to curl up here? I'm telling you, if I go and I'm like, oh, I'll have something to eat or I'll make, you know, like, you know, a little snack for myself, I'll come back and my hair will be out to here. And then for my ends, because, you know, nobody wants damaged ends. I use this Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. So I just use a little bit. And I use like a crazy amount. And I just put it in my ends. I'll get on my tiptoes because my hair is so long. Now I guess I'm gonna blow dry my hair. Before I blow dry my hair, because there's so much of it, I like to section it off in three or four parts, so. We'll start here. What's more annoying than when you're like ready to blow dry your hair and you turn it on, but it doesn't turn on because you have to press that red button to reset it on the outlet? No, just me. that one piece is done. You might have noticed when I was blow drying my hair, I did this a couple times, which is really bad. You're not supposed to ever put the heat directly onto the brush, you know, onto your hair because it damages your hair. But even though I know that I'm impatient and in my mind, if I do that, it'll go faster. Okay, so we got two pieces done. The first layer is complete. So now I move these to the back. <laughs> My curls are just like ready. They're like, let's party, let's be curly today. So now I'm gonna take out the next section of my hair. And look what's underneath, even more curls. Okay, so I'm gonna section that off. And I'm moving on to the next. I, I try not to incorporate, you know, 
with dry pieces, but it's impossible, so whatever. Here we go. And we're gonna move on to the, uh, the last part, the front pieces, which are probably really frizzy by now. Yeah, oh, 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 okay, okay. Let's move quickly, let's get her done. I've noticed that blow drying it kind of, you know, from either side gives it a lot of volume. So I like to do that before I style it. Okay, the hair is huge. It's dry. I could easily stop now and kind of like brush it out and fix little things with my straightener, but that wouldn't be very interesting. So let's just go the whole nine yards. Let's curl her up. Let's make her look gorgeous. I don't, I don't even know if this is a good curling iron. I think it is. I've used it my whole life. So while my uh, curling iron is heating up, I'll tell you a little bit about my hair journey. My hair journey has been pretty insane. Um, I had very long kind of like to my butt or past my butt, beautiful sort of chestnut, if not mousy hair, my whole childhood. And then when I was like 15 or 16, and I did um, Victorious after the first season, I decided that, you know, my character Jade should really have black hair. I felt that it would help like kind of solidify her as an iconic character if she had sort of a more pronounced hair color. And I knew she already had the streaks in her hair and I thought they would pop so much more against like blue black. So I went after having never gotten my hair dyed, I went and I got my hair dyed blue black at this salon in Hollywood. And I was like, oh my God. And it was amazing. And I loved it for years. And then one year, I don't remember when it was, I decided I wanted to have blonde hair or like light brown hair. And so I went to this place and I was like, do it in one day. I want it to be done in one day. And anybody you know, who knows anything about hair knows that you really can't take it from a blue black to a blonde in one day. So I walked out of there and my hair was like orange. I was there for like five, six hours. They got my hair to an orange, which is actually good. I should have been happy because you know, you lift from there and you go back in time when it's healthy, but whatever. So then my hair was like up to here, super short. And then I dyed my hair dark again. And then I dyed my hair orange when I did the pilot of, um, Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll, an FX show I was on in 2014. So needless to say, my hair is traumatized and I'm so thankful that it's stuck around this long because if I were the hair, I would have been like, bye bitch, you're crazy. Okay, we're gonna section it off again. This time with a clip because why not? So I know this is kind of bad for your hair again. I guess I'm not very healthy when it comes to my hair. Um, I spray a little, just one quickie, one more maybe, of hairspray before I curl and that helps to keep its shape. So we're just gonna take little sections. We're just gonna wrap it around like so. I don't like to hold it for too long. That I don't like to do, I'm good about that. That's enough for me. Because I just wanted to have a little curl. You see though, because I did the hairspray, do you see how good it looks? Sometimes the things that are bad for us are just so good for other things. So now I'm gonna spray it again. That section's done. I love this hairspray. I've used this hairspray since I was a little girl, which sounds crazy, but I have. Okay, they're all happy. You see, I'm like constantly brushing through it. I'm not trying to keep it this like, you know, child beauty pageant shape. I want it to look sort of effortless and, and soft. I don't like hair when it's crunchy, it freaks me out. Okay, moving on.
For some of them, I like to do this too. Curl them a different way than I've been curling them so it looks more kind of random and natural. So you'll see this one will look a little different. This is sort of like a spaghetti curl instead of a barrel curl. See? Which looks like pasta. What I'll do, see like, I only have this little piece and he's too small to go on the ride by himself. So I'll take a couple others, you know, that look like they lost their luster. So now we have a, now we have a group work. Okay, so now for this front piece, I go back. So I do this. I think it looks prettiest this way. Spray it all. Moment of truth. Work. Okay, so now what I do at the very end is I love this um, Orbe split end seal. I put just a tiny little bit, the teeniest little bit in my hand. And then I just put it in the ends like that. Keep them looking super fresh because they've been styled now, so I want them to look good. Then I put a little anti-humidity if I'm going outside because my hair is so curly, it gets really humid outside and then my hair kind of blows up, so. That is my everyday glamorous wavy look. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll turn around so you can get the full vibe. Although I haven't seen it from the back, it might be horrible. Are you good? Touch my butt still, it does. Thank you, Harper's Bazaar, bye.